So my name is Bilal Khalik. I'm a business and immigration consultant here in Dallas. And you know, we've been talking about getting an immigration benefit and living in the US based on E2 visa. One of the questions that I actually get from people is, hey, what kind of business do I do? Uh, I'm a professional back home. I'm an engineer or I'm a geologist, for example. Um, but I've never done business in my life. What do I do? Well, buying a business actually is, is a very important decision because yes, you want that immigration benefit, but you don't want to end up where you hate your daily schedule. And by that, I mean that, you know what? Business is a lifestyle, right? If you're going to open up a restaurant, for example, your weekends are gone. But guess where people actually like to spend their weekends is eating out, right? And if you're the owner, you're supposed to be there unless you have very good management in place. So we need to sit down and figure out what kind of lifestyle do you want? Do you want something that ties you from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m.? Uh, if you're going to open up a store in the mall, you have no choice. If the mall is open, you're open. And the reason I know that is because I've owned businesses in the mall. And if my employee didn't show up, let's say I had a cart that sold a certain product, my employee called in sick, well, guess who's spending the day in the mall, you know, looking at that cart or looking at that shop? It was me, unless I had the right management in place. So getting the right business is very, very important. So here's the first step. You need to ask yourself, do you want something that ties you to a certain hours, like a shop or retail base, or do you want something that is a little more independent? For example, online business, it's not tied to hours. Uh, construction business, not tied to hours. You buy a lot, you develop it, and then you sell it. Um, used car sales. Uh, again, you know, you can have a car lot that is open and available, or you can sell cars online. So when you sit down and decide what kind of business do you want. If you've got no business experience, I would recommend that you actually work with somebody, go into partnership, or even buy a franchise, because you know, franchises have a system going. Now, are you going to go in, unless you have a few million dollars, are you gonna do a McDonald's or a Burger King right away? No, but there are smaller franchises that you can actually get for $100,000, $50,000, um, and then they have a system set in place and it's easier to manage and easier to run. Another question you're going to ask yourself is you're gonna do it on your own or you can become a partner. Now for the E2, the requirement is that you have to at least be 51% or more owner. You've gotta be in control. Okay, so if you're going to be a business partner with somebody, let me share the news with you. It's like getting married, okay? You're in there for good and for the bad. Uh, when things go down, you're gonna have to sit down and decide, and sometimes there's a breakup. Sometimes, you know, partners walk other way, but who's gonna take the, the losses? When things are going very well, nobody really asks. So make sure that, you know, the kind of partner that you're going into, you trust that person, but then there's contracts in place, a partnership agreement in place, that can help you with that. So again, you know, if you need to explore the business options along with the immigration options, they're both equally important. So give me a call. Again, it's 402-707-1225 or go to my website at bilalkhaliq.com and we can help you and guide you through that.